Um, well, let's start with uh, Tyrese. He'll get an MRI tomorrow, and hopefully, <clears throat> you know, we'll hope for the best. We won't know anything until tomorrow. We'll, we'll find out uh, after the MRI. Um, I thought the, the team, again, you know, it's been a, a very up and down season for us, but it's one of the things I really like most about this team is, is they just continue to believe and they continue to fight. And, um, you know, now without De'Aaron and Harrison and Tyrese going down middle of this game, not having Marvin before, um, you know, they, you know, like, like I said, win or lose, it, it's about how you fight and how you compete. Uh, and, and they did an unbelievable job of just, you know, uh, playing together again tonight, 27 assists, moving the ball, you know, the, some of the the, um, the hustle plays they made is just, it was great to see. It was a lot of fun to, to, to coach that group again tonight. Um, so it, it, it was it was good to see that. And then really happy for Marvin, who uh, continues, you know, when he gets hurt, he works his tail off and he comes back and he's ready to play. Uh, and, you know, clearly, um, you know, he was a big part of us having success tonight and, I played him over his minutes restriction, but that was kind of just the way the game had to go tonight. But really happy for him and proud of the way he played tonight, um, you know, from rebounding to, uh, you know, to, to the buckets we needed out of him was uh, was nice to see again. Okay, we'll start with James Hand. Yeah, Luke, outside of the MRI, is there anything else you can tell us? I, we're reading that it's possible that there's there's a chance that it's not as severe as it looked initially. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I just, I'm not going to guess on it. Just um, you know, because it doesn't does it. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow. So uh, we're like I said, we're very hopeful that it's not. But uh, there's no reason for me to guess right now. I'm just wait and, and hear back from uh, the medical staff tomorrow. But I did think Tyrese was having another really good game leading leading up to that from a a, a floor general perspective. Uh, the the pace he was playing with the, the way he was getting us into the offense um you know and, and again defensively he, he was making some nice rotations tonight as well sean cunningham yeah luke I mean, maybe a two-part here but can you speak to his spirits at all if you had a chance to see how he was uh, after the game or just you know how, how he's doing and then just the you know the way delon wright kind of filled in uh, the, the rest of the way for you guys yeah he, he's he's you know, Ty, tyrese is an upbeat guy and um you know, he's, his spirits were fine after the game. And, you know, he was happy for his, his teammates and he was happy for, for us getting a win. Um, DeLon uh, really did a nice job closing it out. You know, I told him it's, it, it, it's especially now without um, Tyrese out there, like that's your group to run. So, you know, make sure that uh, you know, you're being as aggressive as you need to be in, in, in calling whatever plays you need to when we're in the flow of our offense. And I want, you know, I want the ball in your hands a lot. So, um, you know, it's not always easy, especially when you come to a team at the deadline. And, you know, like we talked before, there's not a ton of practice time, but uh, he did a really nice job of stepping up for us down the stretch of that game and, and making uh, making winning plays. Jason Jones? Yeah, look, in terms of Marvin, you know, he went past his minutes restriction, but offensively, are you just telling him to get the ball and go if he has an opening, or just what are you doing to get him going the way he got going tonight? Well, no, he uh, to me he got himself going um, by playing within the the offense, the structure of the offense. So once he hit some shots, he got some offensive rebound putbacks. Um, you know, a couple times he you know he he, he got the ball as, as the the play was just going. Um, you know, from that point, we started, you know, running a lot of, uh, of uh, misdirection ATOs for him to get him to his left hand. And, and, and he did a really nice job of, of going in strong and finishing through contact. Um, so, you know, part of it was, you know, him just getting himself going by playing the right way and playing hard, which is naturally how it works uh, when you're doing it that way. Uh, and then as he started going, uh, you know, we started calling his number more, and he did a good job of, of keeping it going uh, and really not forcing too much either. Um, you know, just because you get plays called for you doesn't mean you have to shoot it. So, um, you know, if it's open, take it. And if they collapse the defense, he's got to be ready to make plays and passes out of there as well. Tony Arnold. Uh Yeah, Coach, uh, hopefully uh, Tyrese, uh, you know, he'll work his way through this. But, uh you uh, were able to, you know, take three away from Dallas. And I know we talked about this at the beginning of the game. Um, there were some solid plays here. And it, 
the team was definitely playing in defense. Can you overall uh, assess how this formula worked to beat this team three times, two well, times it, on their home floor? Yeah, it, it was, you know, all, all three of the games, you know, came during a stretch that we were playing, uh, you know, pretty well from a standpoint of the togetherness and, and you know, rebounding. And our defense was uh, was solid again tonight. Um, so, you know, look, that's a very good team over there. And, uh, you know, it takes that type of effort, you know, to give yourself a chance to win. And, you know, they, uh, you know, they missed a lot of, a lot of shots tonight. Uh, some of that was our, uh, our activity defensively. And some of that was just, that's how it goes some nights in the NBA. You know, we played, uh, Utah when they, when they beat us up, every shot they shot, they made. And some of ours, some of our defensive clips were better contest in that game. So uh, as part of it is just that, you know, that's how it goes over a long NBA season. Uh, and part of it is we, we played three really good complete games against them from uh, a standpoint of offense and defense. So, um, you know, anytime you can beat a team three times in a season, especially a team like this, um, you know, you got to give your, your players a lot of credit. Uh, Marshall Harris. Luke, it seems like uh, not that long ago we were talking about not knowing whether or not Barber would even come back this season. Uh, what, what do you make of the way he's come back and what, what he can get out of the last, uh, I guess, two and a half weeks of the season uh, from his development after missing so much time over the course of his career already? Yeah, well, you know, I think, again, it, it, uh, it speaks to Marvin that he's, you know, he's been unfortunate with, uh, you know, a lot of injuries so far in his career. Um, but he doesn't let it get him down, and he he works extremely hard through his his rehabs and uh, comes back and wants to play. I mean, it's easier to come back with nine games left and just say you're not ready and and wait till the off season and next season. Um, and this is a very important time for for Marvin. And you know, it, it's unfortunate because he was having a career year leading up to this injury. He was really making some nice progress. Um, from just an understanding standpoint, his shoot, his three point shooting, uh, you know, things like that, that kind of come with experience. And, and then we had to halt that. And it's nice, even though it's only for a short amount of games, it's nice to be able to get him back out there and get him that experience going into the off season. Uh, Jason Anderson. Uh, Luke, where, where do you think Marvin would be, you know, if, if not for all the missed time uh, right now and then, do these flashes that, that you keep getting kind of give the organization some hope that, you know, with time he could, he could still be the player everyone imagined. Yeah. You know, with Marvin, I think if, if he had been, if he had the, you know, a lot of times in the NBA, they staying healthy or not has, you know, sometimes his body, sometimes his luck. And some of his injuries uh, to me are luck. You know, when you get, you break your hand or something like that, your thumb, that's, that's just a bad, you know, that's, that's bad luck sometimes. But I think that, you know, with what he showed progress-wise, um, you know, this season, which is the most I've had him, uh, what he showed me during that was, you know, this guy, it, it, you know, is going to be a very good player in this league. I mean, you know, his size and his skill set, um, his athleticism, all those type of things. He just, you know, he needs time and, he needs to stay healthy and he needs to continue to get stronger. And uh, with the experience of understanding the game come, that comes with that, that will, you know, equal a, a good, very good NBA player down the road. What's up, buddy? Same. Yeah, um, you know, you guys were playing pretty well and then Tyrese goes down, scary moment there. Um, just what did it take for you guys to kind of keep your foot on the pedal after kind of seeing that moment with him? Uh, it's always next man mentality up, you know, you just got to set up in and uh, just play basketball and keep you know, moving the basketball, making the right play and uh, and uh, trusting the guys. And uh, I think the ball has been moving tremendously. So, uh, you know, guys, a lot of guys that can make plays on the floor, even though they'll be down Fox, Tyrese, and HP, a lot of guys that can make plays. James here. Yeah, buddy, just how important has Tyrese become for you guys down the stretch here with, with no De'Aaron and no uh, Harrison? I just think that he brings a, a weird dimension to the game. Uh, where it isn't good because that uh, he got, he's a guy that can make uh, plays in pick and roll, and uh, he's a guy that can, you know, he, he doesn't shoot it quick enough that where you got to go over, but they go over it. Like he, they, they give him so much time that he 
able to make that shot. He uh, the shot that he shoots, and uh, he shoots at a high clip. Jason Jones. Hey, buddy, you've been a guy who's always been a big supporter and defender of Marvin. Just what's it like for you to be able to see him to come back and the impact he had, not just in L.A., but the, the game he had tonight? Ah, uh, you know, I love Marvin, man. Uh, he's, he's, I'm not happy for him. And uh, it's having a game like this and, uh, against, against a good team like Dallas, you know, uh, you know, you got to, you know, you got to add off to him and now uh, he's ready to play it now. Like I tell him, he's keeping on me active and using and playing off his mode and energy and off his athleticism. Uh, you know, he, he got a special talent in the league, and I, it, it, you know, it, it would never go unnoticed. Jason Anderson. Hey, buddy! Congrats on the win, man. Um, what What is it? You know, you guys are three and zero against Dallas this year, and I think now three and seven against Luca. Uh, what What do you guys get up for these matchups for some reason? Uh no, I just think that uh, we match up pretty well with them too. Uh, I think that. Uh, a lot of teams play positionally, and uh, we, we tend to switch the pick and roll with Sean and Mo. And uh, they avoid that continuity they have backside, the backside action that they always get. We got the shooters, and uh, we try to take them out of the game. And uh, make, you know, that Luca's going to be Luca. He's a great player. And, uh, we just take that slip action in the way so we don't give up lobs and make him Luca, let him Luca spread the ball over the floor. Uh, Sean Cunningham. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, with you've had Fox down and Harrison down. Has it if you had to do anything different with your game in the absence of those two guys, and then, you know, how did Delon Wright kind of uh, help you guys out tonight when once Tyrant went down? Uh, I, yeah, I've been getting a lot more opportunities. I've been, been like, being myself lately, but uh, I feel that, you know, when I'm, when I'm especially when I'm in pick and rolls, uh, I feel like it's a high volume play for us because team, you know, a lot of people might not think it's high volume play. They want me to save space. But uh, I, I feel like it brings more, more offense to our teammates. Because uh, they have to blitz me, if I can't, they let me come up wide open. Then they have to roll in Rashawn. Uh, it triggers, triggers, triggers Rashawn to be free, and uh, he gets the ball to the corner, or he's able to finish. And he, and you, you see how Rashawn plays. Uh, he's pretty, pretty mobile. So catching the ball in that 15, 17, 17 foot eight range, uh, he's, he can make plays of like that. Uh, last one, James Ham. Oh, we got a couple more. James Ham. Oh, one more. Buddy, just. You guys have eight games left. What do you want to do in these eight games? How do you want to uh, win them all? Finish the season. Is that it? Win them all. That's it. Win them all. Try to win them all. Respect. Y'all be good. A couple games, I've been feeling great. My conditioning has been feeling amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, just play. You know, I'm thinking, just have fun. You know, do you know what the, the coaches need and what they ask, and uh, just try to help us win. James Ham. Yeah, Marvin, it's good to see you look like yourself out there. Um, when Tyrese Halliburton went down, did you have any uh, – you've been through this stuff. Did you have any words of encouragement for him? Have you have you talked to him? Um, I was just telling him, you know, just keep your head up while he's walking off the floor. I'll just get him uh, down the back. You know, just tell him keep his head up. And, uh, you know, just tell him he's going to be all right. Um, I didn't, obviously didn't know what the you – know, the, the, the seriousness of the injury was, but I just talked to him. And, um, he's 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 good. So, um, you know, yeah, it was just one of those things. Where I was just you know giving him that extra encouragement as he was walking off. Um, Cause I know how that can be. You know, playing in a game and then you just get hurt and you got, you got to lead a game and that, that's not a good feeling. So uh, that's that's all that was. Jason Jones, and hey Marvin, just. Uh, How's your how your role evolved during the game? I know Luke said during the game early on you just got what you you know by playing with good energy and you know getting in where you fit in so to speak. But as the game progressed, they were calling more things for you, you know, trying to get you actions to get you to your left hand and get you going. Just what was that like for you to kind of see that just that process over the course of the game and the coaches put more trust in you? Um, I mean it's 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 great, man. I I'll, I'll stay ready. I. I put the work in, you know, for moments like this to be able to just go play and hoop and, and uh, just, you know, be a hooper. Uh, and, you know, coach just put me in that position and I to go out there and just play and, you know, put me in a good position and do what I do best and attack and you know, play my game. And uh, you know, I think when I'm playing like that, that's, you know, when I'm playing my best. Marshall Harris. Hey, Marvin, uh, given you've just uh, lost so much time because of the, the injuries over the first few seasons of, of your career, what, what, do you, what is it that you most want to get out of coming back and playing the last two weeks of this season? What, what do you want to get the most out of? I'm just playing the game, man. I'm having fun. I'm, you know, I, I got so much love and passion for this game. Um, 
you know, just just want to get out there and play. You know, finish uh, the season off strong for my teammates. You know, finish what I started. Um, you know, that's that's the only my mindset coming into the class. Uh, couple of weeks of the season, just keep playing hard, keep trying to win as much as we can and uh, just have fun while I'm doing it, have fun together as a unit. And, you know, you know if we do that, we can keep continuing to wreck up games like this and um, finish off strong. Jason Anderson. Hey, Marvin, nice game, man. Um, Luke talked about this being an important time uh, for you. Um, does it does it feel that way? Does it feel like um, this is an important stretch for you and then what do you hope to accomplish? Um, absolutely, man. I just think, you know, anytime I can get out and play and then just play the game, um, it's, it's, it's great. So, uh, like I said, I'm making the most of these last couple of weeks. Uh, and I've been feeling great all year, all season. Obviously, you know, nobody plans to, you know, get your hand caught in a jersey <laughs> and break your hand. Um, but, you know, you can't control things like that. Uh, what I could control was how I prepared to come back and, you know, the things that I was doing to make sure that I was ready when I did come back. And uh, my goal for me personally is just to you know, be available, keep continuing to grow, keep continuing to, to learn on the fly um, and just finish off the season strong, you know, to have fun. And like I said, finish what, you know, we all started it's, uh, from, the, from day one of training camp all the way to now. All right, back to Sean Cunningham. You know, just kind of following up on that question there. I mean, we're, with given where you guys are at the standings, and obviously you've got a lot of guys stepping up that are getting minutes that may normally not. Is there does that kind of alleviate some of that pressure that maybe you would feel ordinarily, or you know, or do you still feel that kind of pressure? I mean, like I said, man, it's just at this point we're just playing basketball, man. We're just trying to you know get as much as we can, you know, in right now. Um, you know, it's not. The season's not done. You know, we can't relax. We can't, you know, take our minds off of uh, these next couple of weeks because, you know, a lot of games, a lot of games are left. Um, so we just got to keep the team and lock in and keep the team to play. How, we, how we've how we been playing the last two games, uh, and I think if we do that and keep, keep that, you know, we'll be all right going into the next uh, few games in this road trip leading into the, the last couple of games of the season. The well, last one back to Jason Anderson. Uh, Marv, you guys went three and zero against Dallas, and um, now I think uh, three and seven. Uh, Lucas three and seven against the Kings since he came into the league. Uh, is there some reason you guys get up uh, for these matchups with Dallas? Um, no, it's another game for us, man. We just try to come out and compete like that against everybody, um, not just Dallas. Um, you know, Dallas is obviously a great team. They got a lot of great players. Lucas is a great player. Um, so we just try to, you know, lock in and follow the game plan and, uh, you know, just come out with, with, with energy, you know, like we would do any other game. So that's, that's our mindset, really. I mean, I wouldn't give it any extra. Um, you know, we just got to keep continuing to, to lock in and, and be together. And I think we, we did a nice job with that. And uh, we went 3-0 against these guys, and they got a great team over there. So uh, that's, that's all that is.